Friends Beyond the Binary, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time. This is a bonus episode. Drop it in your feed as a surprise. So if you're new to Sleep With Me, you might want to skip this episode. It, it will be sleepy, but it's like, you know, we've been making this show for 10 years. And this show, like, actually was like, it talks about some behind the scenes stuff, too, just because it came out of uh, organically. Uh, which you'll hear in the episode of how I record episodes and, and and then how I said, let's just keep this going. But this really is a tribute to the first 300 people uh, who supported the show and kept it going back when we we really needed support just to keep the show going uh, while I was supporting the podcast with a full-time job and stuff like that. Uh, but th- th- it's really a tribute to everybody who listens, who who has d- taken any kind of action to support the show, or people that just sleep through it, uh, because uh, that's just the way most people listen. And that's great too. If sleep with me helps you, like I I, I believe that uh, it, it helps all of us. Like if you like I talk about, it. if you're getting the rest you need, uh, the, that uh, you you could be out there flourishing in the world and even directly Sleep With Me is impacted. So it's important. So this is a bonus episode. So basically I'm going to do a, um, a short intro here and uh, there might be a sleepy supporter zone just because um, uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on right now that like I want to talk about. But yeah, so if you're new, if you've never listened to Sleep With Me before, I would strongly encourage skipping this episode. It's a bonus episode anyway. Um, or you could listen if you want to know, like, uh, some of the stuff, like, uh, there's a tiny bit of history about the podcast, uh, but, uh, I never am good at planning out like milestone episodes. We did episode 1200 as a milestone episode, but then this one just came kind of out of nowhere. So, uh, but it's important because it's right, like the timing worked out. So, uh... What do you say we, uh, get, like, uh, like, uh, this show is really about all the people that made Sleep With Me uh, possible. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep, but we do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you can set aside whatever's keeping you awake. Whether it's thoughts, think, you know, thinking thoughts, thoughts on your mind, thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, whatever's keeping you awake. I've been making this show for 10 years. Uh, and this, the intro kind of developed organically. Now is where I'm going to go off topic. And uh, so this won't be a normal intro because I think the episode I already recorded was about an hour. But yeah, I, I've been doing these and, and we kind of, the intro grew out of uh, something as we got feedback, or, or as I got feedback and the team got feedback over the first year or two of making the show. And this bonus episode's kind of about something new we're launching, and this will be my long form of talking about it in the beginning here. We're launching something called Sleep With Me Plus, and it's based on the feedback we've gotten over years and years and years of making the show that we finally have a way to do it, to offer kind of the ultimate Sleep With Me experience, which isn't just one thing, which is funny. The ultimate Sleep, sleep With Me experience for a lot of listeners is different for each listener. Now, the thing is that most people, uh, the majority of people that listen to the show, this doesn't mean everybody, but it does mean the majority of people. And I have to frame this a lot because everybody has strong feelings. I get that, but I do have to frame it in the way of uh, the majority of people that listen to Sleep With Me listen in a linear way. They enjoy listening in, in, in a linear way for free to the ad supported show. And the way they listen linearly is in some form, they're winding down during the intro and getting ready for bed or getting comfortable, just like we've, des- this is how we designed the show over the past 10 years and getting ready to drift off. And then at some point during the story portion of the show, they're falling asleep. And the vast majority of people uh, consume the show that way or prefer to listen to the free ad supported version of the podcast. And that, or is kind of where it comes in. Um, 
even though it's a majority of way people li- like listen to the show, like the majority of the way people listen, to the majority of people listen to the ad supported podcasts, but then the, the majority of those people listen linearly and, and based on the feedback I've gotten, like uh, the majority of those people enjoy being able to do that. They say, yeah, that's just what I like. And actually there's, believe it or not, there's probably more people that pay for the podcast and still listen to the ad supported version than people that just um, kind of wish there was a version of a pod, like that the podcast, uh, it's just not po- realistic though, that the podcast could exist for free with no ads or anything like that. Uh, but so but <laughs> it's funny that there's people that pay and listen to the ads uh, by choice. Which, and, and I, and I try, I've almost, I haven't totally given up trying to convince them of the fact that, hey, the subscription stuff is pretty good. But so this is where we kind of, uh, what pushed me over the edge was the feedback I got from people that listen to the free podcast and the ad supported podcast. And we kind of always say this dream to offer something because there's within, just because that's what, the way most people listen to the show. There's still a large number of people that listen to podcasts in a bunch of different ways. And I'd say those are still like uh, large pockets of people. So maybe you, you relate to one of these ways. But first, I just want to point out, like, uh, like uh, just think about it. if you like, like, what is your relationship with Sleep With Me, right? Because this is another kind of pockets of listeners that have done some, like, we've gotten a lot of feedback over the past few months. Is Sleep With Me just another podcast you listen to like if it's not sleep with me it would be another sleep podcast like that like it's like yeah sleep with me whatever like and that's a valid way to listen to the show and if it is you could you mean you don't like you maybe you'll just fall asleep to this uh and it's not a big deal so that's a percentage of people i don't know how large a percentage of people that is uh but that's people like eh, sleep with me and then there's kind of like this is all like in more of a like a gradations you know not a all or nothing thinking, which is what listeners have kind of taught me to learn my way out of. And then there's people like to varying degrees that sleep with me is a podcast. They really like, uh, it's a sleep podcast. They really like, or a sleep podcast. They really enjoy. And, uh, then it kind of increases from there. So sleeping podcast, sleeping podcast is a really something you really enjoy. Think about signing up for sleep with me plus. Because the reason we're doing this show, like, uh, or, or like to about the first 300 people that supported the show, that was like on the first few hours of us launching is we're launching. When, when I put this in the feed, that's when you can sign up at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. And I think you could use plus or P-L-U-S to sign up uh, and sign up uh, if Sleep With Me is like, like you get a lot out of it. That's the idea of value for value. And that's kind of where we started. It was like, hey, if you value the show, you want it to be around uh, su- supported. Uh, and, and, and I think that's like where our, our most uh, dedicated fans are. But that's not, that's not uh, that's a kind of small percentage of, uh, of listeners, understandably. That say, hey, uh, I'll just, and probably more people that listen to a lot of podcasts because you understand the, the world podcast. You say, hey, I got to support, if I want this to be around and I really like it, I got to support it. But that's also was limiting. And that that's kind of like, as we, we did that, it was like, okay, uh, like, uh, and so we kind of grew and we started uh, doing a Patreon and then based on the feedback from Patreon, we kind of designed bonus content because, and, uh, but we weren't able to deliver the bonus content in a way that people, the way people wanted to listen to it. And that's what's great about Sleep With Me Plus is it kind of offers that. Because here's the thing, th- that uh, people that go beyond that of like Sleep With Me is something I really like to kind of Sleep With Me is something I listen to on a regular basis. Uh, it's a big part of my life or a medium part of my life, and it makes my sleep better. It's a service I can count on. Like, so Sleep With Me Plus was designed with this idea of the, the people that use the podcast as a service more like, uh, like a sleep service. Sleep With Me is your, I mean, like your sleepy dull service. Just like if I was on demand and you called me, I don't know, everybody, not everybody was around when there was 1-900 numbers, but imagine if you called 1-900 Sleep With Me, <laughs> but it was to put you to sleep, one, and you had to pay per minute. I mean, podcasting just doesn't work like that, but if it did, 
think about, well, boy, like, uh, that'd be pretty expensive, even for casual listeners. But that's how we designed Sleep With Me Plus, because there's a, a few different ways we designed it. And then I'll get to the show here. But it's designed for people that would, hey, I prefer an ad-free experience. I love the full episodes. I do listen linearly, but, the ad, you know, because the ads are meant to be listened to so the show can exist. Uh, but I'd prefer, I'd prefer to pay so I don't need to listen to the ads, but have the same experience just without the ads. So Sleep With Me Plus is for that. And you would get a feed, like you get an ad-free feed with full episodes. That's just one part of Sleep With Me Plus, though. Yeah. Then there's people that would prefer ad free experience who can't afford to pay for Sleep With Me Plus. Well, here's a great thing about that. Um, you could sign up for our referral program and, and, and refer people to the show and kind of like in exchange for referring people to the show, you could get free months of Sleep With Me Plus. Sleep With Me Plus also offers the opportunity to get it, your subscriptions as a gift. So you could ask for it as a holiday gift. Give me a year of Sleep With Me Plus at this level. Uh, tell your family or your partner or um, whatever you could you can you can have someone give you the gift of Sleep with Me Plus, a gift subscription. If you just love Sleep with Me and you don't want any bonus content, you can also just support the show directly without having a subscription with Sleep with Me Plus. But let's move on. So there's some people who prefer ad fed free experience. That's one thing. There's some people who don't want to hear any music. Uh, and or people that just like the stories of the show. And so we're at whatever lo- the three levels you sign up at Sleep With Me Plus, you already get those ad-free episodes twice a week, all the way back to episode four, like in the 400s. But you also get two story-only episodes every week. So you, those that don't have the intros, they don't have the theme music or the intro music. They just have the story portion of the episode. So those come out twice a week. So for people, the story only things are good for kind of listeners who don't like music, who just like the stories, or people that listen all night long. So if you listen all night long, by the way, the best way to listen to Sleep With Me is through Sleep With Me Plus, because you can listen to story only versions. You can make your own playlists. Or if you're at like one of the the two other tiers, uh, like uh, like Boar Friend or Best Boar, Boar Bestie, you get all, all night episode, like ac- access to super long episodes. There's also people who like listening to all intros. So Boar Besties and um, Boar Friends, you also get just like on Patreon, but in a feed with just all intros and all night episodes, you get access to all intro episodes. Those come out twice a month. And then the all intro episodes come out uh, once a month. Uh, the, or then the longer four four to five hour episodes come out once a month, all night episodes. And those are in their own feed. So again, if you want to build a playlist of just all intro episodes or all night episodes, it's way, way easier to do it. Again, because this is, I'm looking at this like a service because people are listening to Sleep With Me in very, very specific ways as we've learned over the years. And if you do that, uh, this is an easy way to do it. Also, uh, there's people I've been listening a long time. They have favorites deep in the archives or new fans to the show that want to see how the show's changed over the years. You get access to the archives, just like on Patreon, but again, in a much easier way to consume because everything's uh, like the full episodes are in their own feed. The story only episodes are in their own feed. And then if you're a super fan or you have favorites like Ray, catalogs, uh, other stuff, there's a bonus content feed with Fearless Flyer stuff, on location stuff. So if you have very specific interests, there's that. And if you want to be super involved in the show, like the Boar Besties, kind of similar to what we're already doing on Patreon. Like uh, everybody gets access to our Discord community. That's off of social media, so you don't have to have a social media account. Everything on Discord is just our community only. And you could meet other listeners and have friendships with other listeners or talk about stuff around the podcast or just lurk. I know a lot of people, hey, I just prefer to uh, lurk and uh, not be an active member of the community. That's cool, too. But if you want to be super involved, even as a lurker, like and lurker just means, hey, I'm just introvert. I, I prefer to watch people be in community. I relate to that a lot. Uh, you could do that. And then um, 
What, what was my point in there? I have no idea now. No, I'm totally lost. Um, oh, like, uh, we're going to have like other things that we haven't had a chance to try yet because it, this is just such a great opportunity. Um, because I don't know, there's something so relieving about finally ha seeing where all the bonus content is, seeing where the gaps are and having it separated all. Now, if you are your Patreon, if you're already on Patreon and you love this fire hose feed where everything's just in one feed, you don't have to change, or we could try to find a way to replicate that experience for you, honestly. But once you try it, you're, you're not going to want, you probably aren't going to want to go back. Uh, I mean, let me just tell you, just from looking through the the, ep, the feed with just episodes and just story only stuff, it's so it's just so it's such a different experience for me. Uh, and the bonus content, and, and even working with Charlotte, our archivist, to kind of see where the gaps are. There's stuff that's missing from the Patreon feed that we really had no idea because there's just so much stuff in there. There's no way to sort through it. But anyway, no pressure. Like, if you're a happy patron, you don't have to change. Like, uh, there's no pressure at all. But we re what we're really looking for are those first people to sign up, uh, especially people who have never supported the show directly before. The, for Sleep With Me Plus, there's a free trial at every level. So you could sign up and try it out first. Uh, if you can't afford it, like I said, you could get it as a gift or you could earn it through our sleep with me, for our, from our, through our referral program at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer. Now, you do have to get real referrals. So we do use a referral program that we've used in the past. So it does take a little bit of work. And, and honestly, spamming does not work. Like it only works if you give your honest experience and you share in a genuine way. And you probably have to share it three or four times to start building up some referrals. But we know from in the past when we've done this that it really does work. And even and that really is a huge free way to support the show. It's a gigantic. Uh, and that's why we're finally so happy to be able to offer this. Because, yeah, there is a small subsection of people who enjoy the, 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 the listen linearly. But they say, hey, I would like to see what it's like without ads, but I just am not in a financial position to afford to support the show. Now you have an option, too. But again, I'm looking for people to sign up who have never signed up before or you are frustrated with our bonus content offerings because you did view it more like a service. Also, this is much, much easier to set up. Uh, this whole thing has been designed so that you can be listening to the bonus content. You sign up on your phone. Go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. It should take two taps and you're ready to go with the bonus content. So. Uh, it should be super easy to use. We still highly recommend Pocket Cast as a great free podcast app um, to listen to the bonus content in. Uh, just because you could listen in Apple or Android, it's a free app, and I highly recommend only listen like pick a pick an app like Pocket Cast and don't listen to your daytime podcast in it. Just use it for for Sleep with Me Plus or Sleep with Me, but. Um, that's another thing. But here's the thing. I'm really looking for you. Uh, if, you're, if you support the show on Patreon, you're going to get a message about this. So you'll already have known about it. And you'll already be able to, 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 take it, to, to, to make the transition. And, uh, like, uh, but if, if you've never supported the show before and you're hearing this message, please sign up for a free trial. I'm looking for, the, the, for those first people. Uh, just like we were thanking the first people that signed up uh, years and years ago. I think 2016 when we first launched Patreon, because back then it's the same as now. Are you interested in the future of sleep with me is really what it comes down to. Um, are you willing to take some action for the future of sleep with me and what you get out of it so it can be there for you to provide it for you and so many other people? And are you willing to or not? If you're not totally cool, but I'm looking for those people, like we've really put a lot of work into this to design it to benefit as many people as possible based on feedback. So you're going to get a great experience. It's designed with you and your needs in mind for all these different subset of Sleep With Me listeners. Now, if you're like most people, you say, hey, I don't need it. I listen to the ad-supported show. I listen linearly, so I'm good. 
Uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about it unless you say, you know, what? I really love Sleep With Me. Maybe I'll just try sending you some money directly through Sleep With Me Plus because I don't need the subscription. Or, hey, maybe I'll sign, sign up and try it out anyway because it sounds cool. But if you're, if you're like those first 300 people we're going to talk about in this episode and you say, no, no, Sleep With Me is very important to me. And I just haven't, you know, it's just been life. I've wanted to sign up to support the show. But, you know, life or whatever, this is the time. Sign up right now when you're hearing this, sleepinmepodcast.com slash plus, because it really is about the future of the show. Uh, I mean, if you follow podcasting business at all, you know what's going on. And there's just been a lot of ups and downs. And lately, it's been a lot of downs for the podcast industry and direct listener support. uh, People paying for a free podcast is the difference between what a lot of these shows that are having to shut down because of lack of outside funding and stuff and a show like Sleep With Me that could conti- not just continue into the future, but if those of you that have been on the fence, if this can get you there, because it's going to benefit you if you listen any other way than linearly to the ad supported version. So whatever, if you're not part of that, whatever, 60%, if you're part of the other 40 or 30% of the listeners, uh, that say, hey, yeah, I listen all night, particularly if you listen all night or you're an international listener. Those are the two biggest groups we need support from because the ad supported feed just isn't designed uh, the way advertising works because we have direct response ads for all night listeners and we just don't have international sponsors. It's just been a reality of the podcast business. I mean, time to time we'll have them, but so if you're outside of the U.S., please sign up if, if, if you get a lot of Sleep With Me, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. But the other thing with Sleep With Me Plus is we're going to go back to having goals uh, around the show. We, we kind of dropped that off. Uh, and so there's a lot of goals. I mean, one is like keeping the show going. But, w- you know, what if you could be part of a bigger future of Sleep With Me, Sleep With Me in other languages? Like, here's the thing. If w- one out of 100 people that are listening sign up right now, like, uh, that have never supported the show before, we could be making sleep with me in another language once a month, uh, and, and doing it in a quality way where, where I don't have to put sleep with me on hold to do that. Like where, where it, it works, where it's sustainable and you can be a part of the magic. I mean, sleep with me puts so many people to sleep, like, uh, and benefits so many people it benefits you. That's great. Like, uh, and, and that's why we designed sleep with me plus was with that in mind of like, Hey, hey most people really get a lot out of the show, but based on this feedback, uh, and then based on how people have been consuming our bonus content on Patreon, is there a way to do this better? And Sleep With Me Plus is a way for us to do this better. It really is the ultimate Sleep With Me experience because it's a bunch of different experiences in one. And as we roll forward into the future, particularly those people that sign up at Borbesti level, you're going to have influence. You say, hey, what if there was a feed that just did this? We could test it out at the Borbesti level. Hey, could I just buy uh, like an all intro feed and just listen to that? Yeah, we could probably we can probably look into that as a few a- after we get things going. But for the time being, you could be a part of positive uh, like sleep for a lot of people, but also the future of sleep with me. Uh, do we want more on location episodes? Let's like sign up sleep with me plus. Let me know about it. You'll also have access to all those uh, other ones we've done. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to throw it to future scoots, but yeah, this is a long winded intro kind of uh, talking about something new we're offering starting today. And I love it. Like if you, if you say, Hey, sleep to me is my favorite podcast, or I do listen all night long and I've listened for four years, or I do like the all intros better than anything else. Or, you know, I do, I do like the stories or, or yeah, I've been listening. I'm not in the U S and I am, I, I really love the show. It's really changed my life. If Sleep With Me has had a positive impact on your life and does on a regular basis, think about supporting it back, not just anymore for value for value, not just anymore for just being a rebel with, for, with a free podcast. I mean, those are the fringe benefits, knowing you're a part of something bigger than me and you, knowing you're a part of something that's magical for a lot of other people. Those are the fringe benefits, but Sleep With Me Plus has been designed with some tangible benefits in mind too. 
and you could try it out. You know, what's here? Here's the thing. The other thing it's a seven day free trial. So I don't know. Um, again, for most people, this is not going to apply for the majority of listeners. But if you're not one of those majority of listeners, really, if you're that one in a hundred people and you want to change the future of sleep with me and experience the ultimate sleep with me experience, sign up right now, sleep with me podcast.com slash plus. All right. Uh, take it away. Scoots. Hey, everybody, this is Scoots, and I don't know, but like, uh, I was going to, I was sitting down to record a regular episode, or regular, another episode, and, and, and um, but I, I may be changing it up right here in the moment. So, uh, normally, and if you're new to the show, welcome, or if you're a regular listener and you're, like, uh, listening a little bit more than normal, welcome. If you're sleeping, I'm so happy for you. You look great. So cozy there, but this will be a little behind the scenes before we get into what, what the idea I'm going to do. So normally, this may break the spell a little bit, but it, I'll say in a sleep away. Like sleep with me is not record; it's free and easy as sleep with me sounds. It takes a lot of thought and effort to do that. And one of the ways we do that is the episodes aren't just. Uh, I don't just sit down and record them in one go. I actually record the episodes in, I guess, what you'd call modules or uh, segments, right? And I even we even have names for the segments. So there's the um, teaser or the greeting, which is the very beginning of the show. And uh, where I say friends beyond the binary, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Then there's the supporter zone. Uh, then there's the intro. Uh, then there's the story and then there's the thank yous and then there's the sponsor spots. And if you listen to the show on, um, on like, uh, on sleep with me plus or Patreon or Apple podcasts, you're a paid subscriber. You, you don't have the uh, thank yous or the sleepy supporter zone or the sponsor spots. And that's based on, um, like you're supporting, you're, you're supporting the content for yourself and other people. So there doesn't need to be the sponsor spots or the supporter zone and the thank yous. You can always listen to the thank yous or the credit song in the free podcast, which is always freely available, but just from feedback from musicians and people that listen, like it's just, uh, how we designed our, our premium subscriptions over the years. But I've been making this show for 10 years, and, and we've been recording it in segments for 10, 10, I mean, most of the 10 years. But so one of the ways, so, so there's two different recording days in a recording week. I didn't realize it'd get into this in depth in the production of the show, but it, this is good to always touch on for new people or people that just happen to be listening. Um. So it used to be pre, what year is it? 2023, 2022, 20, so 2022 to 2023, 2021 to 2022. So before 2021, we had one way of recording the show, but it's very similar to how we record it now. It's just a little bit more, uh, there's a, just an added thing like nowadays, but it's pretty similar. So we have two, usually I have two styles of recording days. Like today is an episode recording day. So I'll record the thank yous. I recorded a sponsor spot. So I recorded a sponsor spot. Then I was going to record thank yous. Well, first I was going to record the thank yous because the thank yous, I thank people that are directly supporting the show with action because without that, it wouldn't be any sleep with me, not even a paid version of sleep with me but definitely not a free version of sleep with me. So I, I, I love doing that. It also helps to warm up my voice and uh, make sure my mouth isn't making any noises and stuff like that. So it actually has a practical purpose too. Also puts me in the mindset that there's real people listening and I'm talking to one person, you. And so it helps me get out of my own life and put aside whatever's going on with me to be in the moment here with you to keep, keep you company and put you to sleep or just take your mind off stuff and provide you some comfort in the deep, dark night. So that's how the, that's why the thank yous are kind of an essential part of the recording process. So usually then I record the thank yous, any pickups, I call them. So a sponsor spot would be a pickup. Like it's something that, uh, 
is a little bit more time sensitive. Uh, most stuff we're recording, ideally, the thank yous in the episode won't come out. Like this is October 2023 when I'm recording this. It'll come out in February of 2024. But it may get changed up. But ideally, that was what the planning was for. Was the episodes are recorded like three to four months ahead of time, believe it or not. Like, um, and that's just part of the process of making the show. That's kind of surprising to a lot of people because they think the sound of the show is that I just sit down, I press record, and it goes out into the world. And that's how it, it should sound. Uh, like, it should sound like a personal service. Uh, so, um, what was my point in there? Okay, so we record different sections, right? Is there anything else about this section? Oh, the re- only reason, it, I think if you're a regular supporter of the show, you know this, but like uh, for most of um, when I started working on the podcast full time, uh, so the, it would be too, too, di- too di- difficult to describe what it was like when I had a full time job and recording the podcast and working on the podcast full time trying to juggle that because I can't even remember some of it. It's kind of like when you have a toddler baby, you're like, how did I even do that? Uh, and, uh, but then like, uh, what happened was uh, over the years, like super me wasn't like an overnight sensation or anything. Like I slowly grew the show and I slowly grew the idea to be for it to be sustainable. And part of that was like me having a full-time job, then a three-quarter time job, then a half-time job. And then once Sleep With Me got to the point, which I think was right, maybe six years into making this show. I don't even know, to be honest. I have no clue, so I could be wrong. But uh, like that's when I was able to work on it full-time and, and, and slowly. We had already had help with Carl W. and Chris Posty before I started getting paid. Like we worked with them. Uh, cause it's just a part of the, you know, adding on to the people that work in the show makes the show more sustainable and having a budget makes it make sense of how much work goes into the show. Anyway, that stuff's not super important except for the fact that, uh, my daughter started high school two and a half years ago and she goes to a high school that's uh, fair, fair, like, uh, she goes to a public charter school. But the one we, we she, she's going to, it's just a, a ways away from where I live. Uh, not as a crow, well, I guess even as a crow flies, but between traffic and the crow flying, it doesn't make sense for me to drive her to school, then come all the way home and then go back to school and pick her up. Like that's like a, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, so what I do is I drive her out to school and I go to a co-working place and I work on the days I drive her to school. And there's not really a place to record a public episode. Like, a, and even like I have recorded, um, um, what do you call those, uh, bonus, bonus shows. And that kind of works. But even that, like I've kind of fallen into like, those are office days. And then we have recording days, but we don't have quite enough time to record. Cause before that I would record five days a week. Uh, so like in a normal week, Monday through Friday, when I was just working from home, the goal would be to record two and a half episodes because life would inevitably happen. And then one week I'd only be able to record two episodes or one episode. So the weeks that I recorded two and a half episodes would help us keep a buffer. Um, so on a normal week, like on Monday, I would record an intro. Tuesday, I would record an episode. Wednesday, I'd record an intro. Thursday, I'd record an episode. Friday, I would record either an episode or an intro. And if life happened during the week, sometimes I'd record on a Saturday or Sunday, or I probably did because life's all, you know, you know, you're sleeping with me, listen, life's always happening outside of the podcast. But so they kept us on schedule of producing two episodes a week um, and uh, putting them out or, or getting them ready, you know, whatever, going through the rest of the production process. It's not that popular. But now that I'm either working in an office uh, or a co-working space, I don't actually have an office there. But it, 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 uh, doesn't make, I don't really need an office. Uh, so I work at like, uh, like their cafe tables or like in a phone booth type thing sometimes. But so, um, what was my point? Um, so I'm not able to record episodes there. And so like this week, particularly I'm going to, this is a Monday and I have other, pre- well, the thing is like, I also have other stuff that's got to happen. Like, so I have a Zoom meeting and something in a little while. So it's like, uh, 
yeah, life is still happening, right? But so, um, like today I was trying to decide, I was like, okay, I think we could get a full episode done. So I decided, okay, we're going to record the thank yous in the episode. And then this week, the next time I can record is Friday. So obviously I have to record episode Friday because the episodes take the longest or the story part of the episode, the episode portion of the episode, I guess is what I'm saying. So the story portion of the episode, those take like about an hour and a half, two hours to record. And so, um, and then on Saturday and Sunday, or maybe Tuesday night, um, or Thursday night, I'll record the intros for those episodes. Or so it's a little tighter of a schedule. It involves a little bit more on work on the weekend, but it's just kind of part of the process. Um, so today I sat down. And I said, "Okay, well, um, uh, I'll do the thank yous." Uh, now, normally the thank yous are uh, people that did some direct action, but we start with like new signups for our subscriptions then maybe our referral program or people that supported the sponsors. But right now it's just been a quiet time. So we haven't had a lot of new people signing up to support the show directly or supporting the sponsors. And I just recorded an episode thank you people that signed up for the referral program. And it's also right when, right at the one year or 10 year anniversary of the show. So I said, oh, let's look, go through the list of people who first signed up to support the show back in 2016. So yeah, we'd been making the podcast for three years or two and a half years at that point. And, uh, I said that we could go through, through that for some thank yous. And then I started going through the list and I was like, okay, this is interesting. Like, uh, and I was like, man, maybe, uh, this will be an episode, uh, just starting to go through it. Uh, I wish I had brought a tablet with me because I just have my phone. But, uh, but yeah, so I don't know. We'll, we'll, go, we'll come, we'll go through this list and then we'll kind of see, um, I don't know. Let's just play it by ear. So the first person to sign up was my brother, Ted, uh, and Ted is still a patron. Uh, so that's cool. The second person to sign up was Judith, uh, who I know I've, I, I remember fondly, Judith. And Judith's not a patron anymore, but um, let's, oh, this is interesting. And this isn't, a, um, anybody who took action to support the show, it doesn't matter if, if you can't support the show anymore, you choose not to, or you no longer listen. But also is interesting. So Judith was a patron for two years. Then we got Julie C., who is a moderator. Julie C. was the one who uh, introduced me a term, uh, who said, hey, how about friends beyond the binary? Because, like, help me come up with that as a way um, to really make the intro as welcoming as possible, but still keep this friends beyond the binary, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this kind of, like, carnival, old-timey feel to it. So yeah, Julie C. still born in the show for a long time. Mary Beth, another person. All these early patrons, obviously, they signed up as soon as, it, like, they're super involved. So all these people I kind of know. Mary, Mary Beth was a patron for four years. Wow, that's, a, like, a really a long time. Uh, then Michael. Uh, Michael's still a patron. Um, so it's pretty impressive, like that, uh, people have been supporting the show that long. Jean is a, Jean it was a former patron. Let's see. And, uh, just could do a little, for a little bit of time, six months, uh, Millstone. Uh, Millstone was a patron for some time. Let's see. Oh yeah. Four years again. And we got Jennifer D. Jennifer was a patron. Um, for uh, four four months, so some people check it out and they move on. Um, then my mom, then uh, Madison. Let's see, Madison was a patron, uh, still a patron. Thank you, Madison. Then um, either my brother or my dad. Uh, so this is nice. You know, I have some family support coming in. The Vicky. Oh my bro- Yeah, I don't know if that's my brother or my dad. I I, I deleted everything from here. So um, Vicky. Former patron, uh, Vicky was a patron for three years. That's great. Uh, Karen Act is still a patron. This, this is wild. Uh, supporting the show since 2016. Uh, 
And we are having this thing, um, like uh, we haven't quite launched it yet of like, uh, uh, deep dark, um, of, uh, what is it called? The deep, uh, <laughs> no, it was, I don't even know. Never mind. I, I can't think of my mind's totally blank. Uh, Grant, a former patron. I remember Grant talking to Grant. Grant was a patron for five years. Wow. Um, Gene. Yeah, uh, Gene was a patron for a little while. Let's see. Uh, for for about ten months. Uh, and I think normally the average of people supporting podcasts. Um, I don't know. I think sleep with me. It's like eighteen months. So these are people way outside of the average. These people have been supporting the show or even supported for four years and then moved on. Um, uh, Danielle. Uh, that's uh, two years, two, two years and two months, actually. Colleen, I wonder if there's an easier way for me to do this. Colleen, um, was a patron for uh, three years too. Amanda, a lot of these people, as soon as they see your name, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. I can even picture, uh, four and a half years, uh, uh, RJ. Former patron, also uh, uh, four years. Uh, Mike uh, is a patron for three years. Uh, uh, Sin, patron for, still a patron. Patron, still a patron, wow. Joe, still a patron. Oh, uh, wow. Bonnie. Uh, um, oh, and, oh yeah, there's also, um, kind of people that kind of, they're, uh, like, uh, they're, they're popular, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the de- decline. So I don't know if they don't know, like, that's one of the issues we have with Patreon is like, uh, it's not great when someone's declined and then they can't log into their account. Um, Lisa, uh, was a patron for three years. Uh, Jen W is still a patron. Thanks, Jen. Kate, Joan, and Jennifer are former patrons. Let's see. How do I, this got to be a better way for me to do this. Uh, some of these people I've met in person too, uh, at live shows. Uh, yeah, year, two, three years, uh, five years. Wow. Um, let's see where we at here. Joseph, still a patron. Joseph, uh, Summer, Stacy, uh, a couple of people. Summer and Stacy stick out because uh, both really involved uh, in the face listener run Facebook group, uh, and just really involved in like the early years of the podcast. Uh, just giving me a lot of feedback and support. And we've got Cole, who I remember hearing from. Cole was a patron for about a year. Um, Angie is a former patron. Jenny's still a patron. Tawana's a former patron. Uh, let's see. Uh, Claudia. Julie G, active patron. Another person really involved uh, in the early years in the, um, in the Facebook group. Um, me and just give me a lot of feedback. Uh, Claudia, Catherine, uh, still a patron. Mary, former patron. Sherilyn, former patron. Laura, former patron. Jasmine, Ray, Geraldine, Marcy, David, Amanda, Sandy. So, wow. So that first 40, list of 40, I think probably half those people are still supporting the show. So that's kind of interesting getting into like the next 40. Understandably, a lot of people, what they do is just grow out of the podcast. So most of these, uh, Sandy is where we left off, right? Um, like kind of grew out of the show or moved on or um, their lives changed. And uh, and that's cool, too, when people graduate from the podcast. uh and so most people let me know. Jennifer, Dal- Sandy, Jennifer, Dalton, Sarah, Harlan, Bennett, Kimberly, Allison. Then we got Miriam is still an active patron. Uh, 59th person to sign up Miriam. Uh, 
Uh, then we got Joanne uh, Hubertus, uh, still a patron. Nicole, still a patron. Uh, Anna W. Ada, uh, still a patron. Uh, then we've got Kim, Sarah. Then we got Annie, still a patron. What's up, Annie? Michelle, Brandon. Then we got Allie, another listener who's come to a live show. Allie H., uh, uh, active patron. Uh, Betsy, former Maureen, another person whose picture and emails I can kind of see. Maureen C., active patron. Mikkel, Heather, Andrea, those are patrons, uh, former patrons. Uh, Linda, still a patron. Wow. Then we have Cindy C., is a former, or former patron. Nancy, uh, active. So Nancy, still a patron. Mary, former patron, Michelle R., former, Sarah, former, Christine, former, Carrie. And then we got Jen, 84th, still an active patron, 84th person to sign up. Wow. Melanie, Amy, Carolina, still a patron, 87. Deborah, 88, still a patron. Sarah N., I remember, Tasman. Still patron, 90. Uh, Trish, uh, Scott R., still a patron, 94, 92, 92, sorry, Scott. Um, Robin, Nancy, Steve S., still patron, Steve, holy cow, 95. Uh, coming in, 95. Uh, Bonnie M., a former, Rory, Sharon, uh, J.D., Anya, Allison, uh, uh, still a patron. Let's just see what where we at da- dates-wise here. Uh, yeah, these are still everybody that signed up on our launch day. Um, and we got J.B., Jennifer, my sister-in-law, Julie. What's up, Julie? Daniel, your mom still supports the show. Good, you know, it's good on, good on both of you. Uh, Jeff B., a former patron. Kits, 106, still supporting the show. Thanks, Kits. We got Patricia, S.Y., Jennifer, Michelle, Melissa, uh, Colleen, still a patron, 112. Uh, now we're in day two, which might be midnight even. Uh, oh, yeah, day two, uh, but still kind of day one within the first 24 hours of launching the Patreon. And we were trying to, so the goal with the Patreon, we'll still, we're, we're at Colleen, 112. I just want to remind myself, was like, uh, I mean, like anybody that's done creative stuff or had, <laughs> If you if you have the human condition, you could probably relate to a lot of this. So, um, I did a lot of research, including some research where I was a little bit, you know, like uh, over demanding, but uh, of like, uh, hey, can you? I need s- s- s help with getting this page set up and everything. Because again, I was r- literally working full time. I, I would walk from my work uh, to the train and listening to the podcast that was about to come out and then take the train and a bus and a bike to get home. And then like on the days I could work on the podcast, like that I didn't have my daughter, like then I would be working on the podcast. Uh, so, um, the initial goal was like, just to, to see, okay, can we bring in enough money on Patreon to pay Chris Posty Posterson to record one episode a week, like four episodes a month. And I knew what that price was. And actually 100, uh, let's see. Yeah. So we're right around that. Uh, not quite there depending on fees and declines and stuff, but like, uh, so we're right around the first goal of the podcast here, which is like, uh, they could pay him to do four episodes, edit four episodes a month, which is represented for me a significant number of hours that then I could work on the podcast. I mean, like, uh, it just would fr- freed up mental stuff to be like, okay, I could work on, I mean, the reality is when you do this, then you're kind of like uh, working on the running of the business part. 
So it, it, but it freed up time for me to try to build this out as a sustainable thing. And then the next goal was, can we pay him to do eight episodes a month? Uh, and, uh, so we'll probably get, we'll get there probably. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's what we'll go to. Okay. So we had, uh, uh, let's see, Colleen. So then Robert, Margaret, Kimberly, Alexandra, M. Uh, and Karen, Dan, Greg, all former patrons. Then Amanda, still a patron, 121, Amanda, a school number, uh, crumbs. Uh, then we have, uh, Jennifer G, uh, a former patron. Okay. Sean, Sean M still a patron. Wow. Uh, and again, I'm not dismissing any former patrons. I just want to, um, like any amount of support you supported the show. Oh, I guess that goes into the same thing. So part of the research I did and why I was like, can we just pay Posty? So, and this will kind of go into where Julie C and a couple other, I think Stacy M and a couple other people, uh, like really helped me. So, okay. So I talked to Patreon. I did a lot of research before doing any of this, right? And it seemed like with podcasts, and, and again, I fall into this even still, like the idea that you have a podcast and it goes out kind of like, uh, especially with Gen Xers, but probably with a large portion of people older than Gen X and maybe even younger, you just kind of assume that you're making money somehow. And podcasting particularly is all on the podcaster or the podcaster working with people. To, there's no prepayments of any kind. And there's really, I mean, until like there really isn't very much, almost no outside funding. So, um, um, yeah, like, uh, that's just like one of the cases. And so, um, like, uh, so part, and then sleep with me, we'll talk, I could talk about spot. Well, I guess you could talk about all that right now. We're, We're on a pause here. So, so, okay, so the research I did showed, okay, so Pat- Patreon or getting somebody to support your show directly is very, like any podcast, uh, it's very difficult, actually. And most people just passively consume stuff uh, and assume, yeah, it's getting paid for, it's somebody else's job, which is normal. Like, uh, I just want to normalize that. Uh, it's And actually, it's so normal that... Uh, it's very difficult to get 0.5% of your regular listeners uh, to support the show. So let's define those two things. So, so regular listener for a podcast is someone that listens to like, uh, for a podcast like Sleep With Me, it comes out multiple times a week. I'd say that's someone that listens to like one episode a week, like four episodes a month uh, or more. And for a regular podcast that comes out every week, I'd say it's somebody that listens to two or three or, or every episode. Uh, and so you take that number and you say, okay, so if I have a thousand people that listen to my podcast, and that's a pretty hard number to get and something you have to slowly build towards. Um, so one, so it'd be like you could get probably like it means five of those thousand people would uh, like be willing to support your show directly. But that's like a hard number to get, but it's very achievable if you keep asking and you, and you do that, like 0.25 to 0.5. And I think that was around our first goal, like, uh, um, was like, hey, can, like, so that way, okay, if we get 0.25, maybe that's where I came up with the one episode a month thing. I don't know, I'd have to back in in the numbers, but that would be 0.25. Uh, See thirty. Um, so if we had thirty, if we had three, that'd be one point five. Thirty would be fifteen hundred. I don't know. I don't know. My I'm not very good with numbers, but I just know these numbers are fast. so. So it's like okay, and then if you if you really work hard, you could get to a point to one percent. And then you build there, but like two uh, percent with like uh, people supporting the show directly. But realistically, for to have like a sustainable podcast where multiple people are working on it, like in a show to flourish and really be sustainable between like directly supporting the show or supporting the like uh, 
it's like if you can get to like above, uh, like if you can get to 5%, like a podcast like Sleep With Me, um, you can really flourish like, uh, like, um, um, if you, if we, I mean, and I mean, that's just like people, 5% would be people supporting the show directly, which we're not even, I mean, we're not in that area, but, and, um, supporting a sponsors or supporting the show, like by spreading the word. So taking one of those three actions, if we were at 5% of that, we would be sleeping me, would be up, we'd be belt, we'd be doing sleeping me in Spanish and other languages. And that's kind of our goal with our new sleeping me plus is not so much to get to 5% with that. I mean, if we could, that would be unbelievable. Um, and we'd be easily able to do all that stuff. But, um, even if we can get back to where we were a couple of years ago, because part of like us transitioning and creating another option is that, um, sponsorship with all podcasts, but particularly sleep podcasts is a very difficult way to earn, uh, um, a predictable amount of money, but it's kind of a necessary part of it because, uh, um, there's, there's other costs. I don't want to get too deep in the weeds, but it's like, uh, for people listening to free, like, I mean, I guess we see it across everything in streaming now, like for it to be sustainable, like a, you need a mix of advertising and, and direct subscription revenue. Like we see with like a lot of the streaming platforms now. And it's just what people are sh- showing to work is it's like the sponsorship revenue is just so unpredictable. And we've never been able to count on it to actually plan out stuff. And with uh, direct support, like on Patreon, it was always for the longest time, like even when the show plateaued or we declined um, and lo- started like making less money on Patreon, I knew, okay, well, like, it, it, okay, Patreon's going down, um, but it's going down a little bit. So I know how much even if it goes down by that much, I know how much money we're going to bring in next month. And that way we could plan our budgets because it's a lot of moving parts. And what happened was that, um, I don't know, just maybe like, I was just looking at the numbers. It was like six months ago that kind of, um, our revenue even there became more like sponsorship where it was like month to month. uh, And I haven't been able to totally figure out why. I mean, part of it is like the annual subscriptions, but it shouldn't, like we've had just much wilder sponsorship, like swings in our income. And when I say like, like way more like, uh, yeah, I mean like just ones where it's like, okay, that's like, uh, like that much miss money missing from the budget. It's just not, uh, it, it, whatever. I don't want to get too deep into the money talk cause I know everybody's trying to sleep, you know? But we, we'd always had, even if the revenue was going down, what I was saying, it's like, it was predictable, at least where sponsorship, like, uh, you could try to predict what it would be month to month, but you just never know. And, and the thing is, if you lose some company, you just lose them. Like, uh, even if they say, okay, we're going to support your show for once a month for 12 months, they're not like, uh, really con- contractually contribute, like, uh, so it's like, uh, you could have planned on that money and then it's gone. So anyway, so, so we're going to try out this new the, the sleep with me plus and, and hopefully that'll return us just being like, okay, now we know how much money's coming in next month to pay the bills and, and cover everything. I don't know why, what was the point of, I, I forgot why I went on that first tangent, but, um, but basically, man, I mean, oh, I guess like, so, oh, okay, to, to go back to the statistic, the main reason is whether you're a former patron and you're still listening, or you supported the show by spreading the word, or you supported a sponsor, you bought like an affiliate product, like uh, uh, like our, our merch, like sleep phones or our merch, um, like, and the merch is kind of good more for spreading the word, but sleep phones is, is uh, like, a, a, like a, a nice way to support the show. like. Uh, like any, any action you've taken on behalf of sleep with me, uh, like, uh, is huge. Like it's just very rare. Like, uh, so knowing, Hey, I let my friend know about the podcast, like that puts you in that less than 5% of listeners. So out of a hundred people, there's like, yeah, only a couple of you less than much less than 10 people like doing stuff. And that means a lot to me. And it's the only way we got to where we are. 
So I just, uh, oh, I guess I was saying, like, if this isn't to be dismissive when I say former patron. It's just more like uh, this is just a list I'm reading through and the information I'm getting and just reading through it. Like, uh, so um, because even someone that supported the show for two months, like, uh, that's huge. Like, really, I'm not like, uh, it's very huge. Like, it's very, like uh, 95% of people never do that. So. Or even people that spread the word, like, uh, most people don't do that. It's free. Like, uh, and if you don't do stuff, I just want to normalize it. That's the way most people are like, uh, and, and, and again, if you have the assumption or the idea, yeah, it's somebody like, uh, I, I've like, uh, I've talked about this in other episodes. Like there's been times I've talked to people whose podcasts I loved and it's like, no, I still have a day job, man. And I'm like, holy cow. Like, uh. Like, because it's like, it's just easy to make that assumption. Um, okay, let's get back to this list here. So we got uh, Dachi, uh, Ashton, Leanne, Sean, Nicole, Marguerite, Amanda. Then we have Daniel, still a patron, uh, 132 Daniel. Uh, Nancy O, Richard Vesna. Oh man, my friend Vesna. Vesna, like, uh, was super involved with uh, uh, ideas and feedback. Sent me a couple books. Uh, Adam, Kit, Kit, Louise, uh, Juliet, Lori S. Still a patron. Uh, Edward B. I remember getting ed- emails from Edward. Esme. St- is uh, Esme another person I remember getting a lot of uh, email from? Uh, like both of them, like uh, great stuff. Rachel B, remember Rachel? Nora N, holy cow! This is just some. So, and this is in the one forty. You said a lot of people super involved in the podcast. Savannah, Kathy, Jill, Margot V, still a patron in there. Margot. Uh. Josh, David, Michael, Rachel, Autumn. Uh, oh, I lost my page. Uh, Barth, uh, Allison with a Y, Robert, Scott, Sharon, Stacy, I.E. Uh, Angela H. Still a patron. Hey, Angela, one sixty. Thanks, Angela. Uh, Nancy C, Christine, Patricia, Ken. So there, 164 is either my brother or my dad. Uh, Shiara, Michelle, Sterling, what's up? Still a patron. I can picture Sterling's uh, profile picture. Kimberly, uh, Jenny R, still a patron. What's up, Jenny? Uh, one, oh, Jenny R, one, one seventy. Thanks, Jenny. Mary Beth, Ryan, Julie F, one, one seventy two. Oops, I got my number. Ju- yeah, one seventy two. Julie F, still a patron. Stanley W, still a patron. One seventy three. Cynthia C, one seventy four, still a patron. Polly, Mirtha. We got Andrew M, 177, still a patron. Sarah P, 178, still a patron. Alvin, those, TRB, still a patron, 181. Uh, Laura, Michael, Brittany, Robert, Mike B, 186, Mike, uh, thanks. Nicola, another person I remember, Becca, uh, Fui, Lee, Aaron, uh, Emily H, uh, Mafio, Michael M, still a patron. Michael M with a famous name. Uh, uh, Ann, Ann, Anna, uh, Mark, Amy E. What's up, Amy? 197. We got Sonia, Julie. Bettina, Jessica, Heidi, Lisa, Amy, Hector, Melanie P. 206 is still a patron. Thanks, Melanie. Teresa, Ty, Justin, Roxanne, 
uh, Eric, Corey S., still a patron, 212, Corey. And thank you. Uh, Leslie, Emma, Lindsay, Dennis, uh, Stephanie, Michelle, Cassie, Samantha, Stuart, uh, Mark, uh, Kane, Stuart, uh, Stuart, there was a Stuart V and a Stuart A in there, Abigail, Anthony, Don J, Hane, Christy, Cynthia, Zach, K, Nathan J, 233, still patron, uh, Emma, Calm, Davey, Jeremy B, still a patron, 237. What's up, Jeremy? Uh, Dylan, Elise, uh, Chris, Penny, Emily, David, Megan, Courtney, Kimberly, Fintan, Rory, Jessica, Sarah, Jessica B, and then Jessica L, Ryan, Estelle, uh, Gabrielle, PJ, back end, still patron 256, and Alice T, 257, Alice, uh, Peggy, Kathy S, 259, uh, Jim, Anea, Claire, Liza W, still patron 263, Will, A- Angie, uh, CA, Monica, Rachel, Michael, Susan, Vince, Circle, Tupamara, still a patron, Tupamara. That's a 273. Uh, Jennifer, Dallas, uh, Pamela, Mary L., uh, Jen, Robin, Elizabeth, Eileen, Corey, Daniel, Samantha B, still patron 284, Samantha, uh, Jim G, uh, Emily P, Ingrid, Cindy Z, still a patron, thanks, Cindy 288, uh, Elise S, still a patron 289, Liv 290, still a patron, Dimitru, uh, still a patron, 291. Catherine B, 292. No, it's weird that it's like all, like all clumped together, but it is. Uh, Marcy, uh, former. Uh, AJ, uh, still a patron, 294. Uh, Jan, uh, Caitlin, Debbie, Ted. Kristen H, still a patron, 299. Uh, Patrick uh, T.A., Kathleen Wesley, Mary Catherine, and then Kate at 305, uh, Katria, and then Faye. I uh, wonder if this is, uh, like, I don't have any information, everybody, but another person very active in the podcast, 307 Faye. Um, so that's like right around 307s are right around probably where we hit like paying posty to do two episodes or two, four, six, eight episodes a month or no, did we ever get there? I think, what do we, uh, I think we got there. And so that was a big deal. And then post that would kind of limit posty's time. And then we found Carl W who, who would end up doing one episode a week on our next, uh, run through here. There's some other thing that I thought of that I was like, oh, I got to talk about it. Oh, so the biggest mistake I made with this support that, uh, yes, Stacy and Julie C and a couple other people was like, uh, so I had the whole plan for Patreon, right? And we even talked about the tiers. And I mean, I didn't realize at the time, like how much like payment processing, we tried like a $1 entry tier. But the reality was like after a little bit of time, like, I mean, we didn't change it for quite a few years, but like, uh, just the way credit card processing works, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, um, 
but but we we had so we had a one dollar tier very very similar five ten and twenty and we kind of knew most of the people would sign up uh like you'd be like okay maybe you'll make like whatever i don't know like it was like trying to um the one and five dollar would be the more where most people would sign up but hopefully you get a few 10 to 20 hour people to kind of offset this now at the time we didn't even have a way to offer uh, ad free pod. We didn't have ads in the podcast, I don't think, but like, uh, a way to offer a bonus podcast feed. But so we had everything ready to go and I think we even launched it. And then I got what, what, what you could say was like, uh, like that little kid in me and the imposter part, like imposter syndrome part of me. And just like, you know, some softer parts of me decided because there were people, there's always people that are willing to dunk on the podcast always. And especially when it comes to supporting the show, like some people have a passive uh, thing. It's somebody else's responsibility. And of course, with a sleep podcast, you count on any kind of change is going to cause like, nor that's normal to get not happy and stressed about change. But there's also people that just are a little more, they're going through stuff and the podcast becomes like the, uh, where they direct their ire. And so anything around this, like it, it usually, and those are the people that are also active. And it's kind of like the mirror, like there's probably as many people active doing that as there are people actively supporting the show that are regular listeners, believe it or not. I bet you, yeah, I mean, definitely 0.5% for sure. Uh, but maybe more. Like, uh, but so... Even the idea of the, like the podcast, like, uh, just, it's just not, a, um, it, there's no reason to debate it. It's like, uh, they just having their own experience. They don't have taken into account, like the work that goes into the show or making it sustainable or anything. They're having their own experience. And then that experience is directed at me and it, it you know, now I've learned my job is to kind of, uh, that my job's different than that. But at the time, I was like, I would directly re react to all that stuff and try to fix everything. So um, once I got some pushback, uh, I said, well, what, the other thing we could do, maybe it would be less offensive to just ask for a dollar. And not even, I never even did the financial calculations with the credit card fees and stuff like that to realize, like, uh, how futile this idea was. And even every person that has any research in this said this was not possible. But for some reason, because it doesn't matter if you're asking for a dollar or $10, the same percentage of people are going to support the show. That's just the way the numbers work out. Uh, not everybody's going to support the show $10, but, um, but I decided on my own against the research based only on my feelings and thoughts that I'd just say, we, we could, I think because the podcast puts people to sleep, that we could get 10% of people at a dollar. And 10% of people at a dollar would have been enough to pay Posty to do all the episodes a month. Uh, I mean, that would have been all, it. There wouldn't have been any other money or whatever. So it was even a bad idea from that perspective. It's like, well, then you still have to, like, uh, this isn't making the podcast that much more sustainable for the long term. But I decided to do that, and I went all in. So, um, and I think probably a lot of those cancellations were people, hey, checked out the show for a dollar and said, hey, okay, like, uh, at some point, especially a dollar charge, you're like, hey, what am I paying this dollar for every month or whatever, especially because there wasn't any... Um, bonus content. When you do look at a lot of people say, Hey, I'm supporting the show. I don't need any bonus content. But when you look at the consumption of the bonus content and the long-term patronage, it is interlinked because that keeps people closer to the show. And sleep with me is one of the subscriptions. I want people to know they're paying for every month. So then they feel good about it. And they, and they, that's why people stay being a patron. Cause they say, okay, this is like a, like a, I'm a part of this and I get something out of it and uh, I get this bonus content back. Now, I mean, there are people that just pay every month uh, and that's their way of supporting the show too. But it was like Julie C and Stacy and a couple other people who said, who actually had to say to me, like, and this is my paraphrasing, but uh, I think you're letting your fear get in the way of what's best for the podcast. Like the podcast is not worth a dollar a month. Uh, like, it's great if people can only afford to do a dollar and they want to tip you a dollar. But um, 
you're letting your fear get in the way of what's best for the show because you're devaluing yourself in the podcast. And then there's like, we know how much work it is and, uh, we want this to be a sustainable thing. Th- this is some of this is my own words. Like, uh, but, but like, uh, that was the truth was like, my fear was getting in the way of what was best for the podcast. And so I don't know at what point we did that or what of this first large number of people just signed up for a dollar because that's what I asked for. But yeah, those numbers set us back uh, for for actually years, believe it or not, because uh, that's what I asked for. And so people responded to what I asked for. And uh, and so, um, yeah, like, I don't know. That's just a point. I don't know what, where the point was. But I mean, now it's like, man, if you signed up for a dollar, it's still huge, it was huge. Uh, uh, yeah. Because I wouldn't be able to make the show. And I guess that's a point. It's like, like, uh, of like, I don't know. I just wanted to do this because it was like, huh, look at these people that signed up. Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, and, um, I'm just trying to find where we left off here. So I can put a little, uh like blank in here in case we come back to it. But yeah, I mean, like literally I couldn't have done this without everybody. And I mean, even if you listen passively, like, uh, it's totally normal. This isn't an episode put out to like criticize anybody or anything like that. It's a normal way. Most people, 95, over 95% of people listen to the linear, the ad supported show linearly. Um, maybe, maybe 93% because, uh, 2% 2% of people skip the show to, um, to 30 minutes. So they're trying to avoid the ads or whatever. And then maybe 2% of people fall asleep. And then, yeah. So it's like, uh, it's a pretty normal way. And I'm glad the podcast can help you too. Because if you're getting a positive experience out of the show, um, yeah, I mean, that that's really what it's about because I've been there. I mean, that's the whole idea of this podcast is uh, like in episode 1200, uh, like, that's all I can do is be here to keep you company and take your mind off of stuff. So I don't know if this came out as a bonus show or what. Maybe it will. I don't know. But I really appreciate it. And, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, like I talked about in another show, but it's like I'm so hum- – like, like I say it, but there really is no way I could have got here without all of you and all of the growth opportunities I've had – it's changed me as a person for the better. And even though I forget it because I get my own feelings and stuff, like this is like such a wonderful thing that I get to do something creative and be a service to other people who are experiencing something I can be relate to, a pain, a loneliness uh, in the deep, dark night, and maybe help people fall asleep or at least feel comforted. Um so easy for me to forget that, honestly, because I would get overwhelmed um, or I start overthinking or my feelings come up. Um, so I'm so glad, like, uh, when I get to pause and remember, it's like you're listening or you're sleeping right now. And that's really what it's all about in the end. Make you feel welcome and seen. That's the teaser. Maybe we have some lightheartedness in the intro and something familiar, a familiar friend as you ease down and wind into bed and then having a bedtime story to put you to sleep. That's really what, what, what makes the show. So, uh, thank you so much. And, uh, thanks and good night, everybody.